Hi, this is Tanya. I'm going to be talking to you now about um, the letter M in this uh, installment here, in this video. Uh, there's not really many artists that I admire um, in the letter M category. I like Madness and um, that's and um, what's it called? Uh, that's really an, an, an the only band I know. <laughs> but there, there's an artist there that I like, or I actually preferred her back way back in the day when she first started out. It was really more the eighties era that I used to follow her on. Um, I'm not talking about Madonna. Now, I was a huge fan of Madonna's way back in the 80s. You know, all, all her old stuff, like like a virgin and all of that, and get into the groove. I was more interested in her back in the 80s, 90s. Um, she had this obsession with sexuality, sex. She's very, she has books out about, books out about sex and all that, and she sort of like to expose herself quite a lot, her body-wise. She used to do a lot of exposing in her videos and always thought she was the sexiest thing alive. Uh, she, was sex she, was, she was sex obsessed, in other words, you could say. She was quite sexy though, mind you, back in the day, back in the 80s, 90s. And uh, since later years, like when we came into the noughties, she just totally destroyed herself with plastic surgery and Botox and um, all this excessive exercise and so muscly arms and everything else and she her whole look she's just totally destroyed her look completely she was once she was always she was always very but she used to be a real attractive woman she's lost all of that and she's totally dest destroyed her look completely but she's still a good singer still a great singer great performer but um, I preferred her back in the day I have heard it back in the 80s, 90s, to be honest with you. There's more 80s that I listened to her music, but there's more into her music in the 80s. And I saw her film, uh, Desperately Seeking Susan. She was in that film. And I saw her in Shanghai Surprise as well, and uh, Avita. She's a very good actress, very good actress, as well as a performer, singer, and stuff like that. She did a lot of films. But she did a magnificent performance in Avita. Amazing performance in the Vita. It was a balcony performance of Don't Cry For Me, Argentina. It was just outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. It just blew me away. She blew me away. It was probably even better than the original. <laughs> honestly, honestly. Probably a lot better than the original performance. Better, a lot better than the original version. And her voice was just incredible. She just literally sung her heart out in that film. It was incredible. Amazing performance. And uh, I love her music. But um, I preferred her look back in the day. She, is, she was very, very attractive once. She used to be very attractive once. But that's all gone now. But um, unfortunately. But her voice is still there. She still sings as good. still sounds as good as she did back then. So hope she, hopefully now she'll have a longer, longer reign, reigning career, and don't do so much excessive in exercising and trying to tone, tone down that body because her arms are just she looks absolutely awful. Uh, she looks like she's starting to bodybuild her, her feet, figure, and she's totally destroying herself. Her looks destroyed. She's all this plastic surgery and everything else. She's ruined herself, which is I don't know, I, I don't know why she's done that. And then to watch what possessed her to do that, I think she looked she looked much better the way she was. There wasn't a thing wrong with her the way she was. She was perfect the way she was. She was a very very beautiful girl, and she totally destroyed it. Whatever, besides, um, putting that aside, she's still a very talented artist, and um, I wish her the very very best of luck in the future. And thank you for watching my my take on Madonna. Thank you. Bye.